So, in the wake of Nancy Grace absolutely making a complete idiot out of herself, trying to talk about marijuana, acting like people that smoke marijuana go out and drive and kill people, I just wanted to weigh in on, on something that people keep talking about, which is the comparison between alcohol and marijuana, saying, hey, alcohol's legal, why shouldn't marijuana be legal? So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Once again, I'll just throw out my credentials so you know. Uh, I'm not just a California chick talking about this. Um, I worked in rehab for a long time. Um, I also opened a rehab and ran the rehab. I uh, have my equine degree in uh, addiction, which means I can work with horses and addicts. And um, they're, it's actually a really great thing to do together because uh, sometimes people are broken, they can't relate to people, but the horses make them feel good, so that's how that goes. Anyway, and I also have my counseling degree in chemical dependency and alcohol, my CCDC in California. So I know that of which I speak when it comes to rehabs and drugs and marijuana. And first of all, I have to say that in all the time I was at the rehab, we only had one person come in um, addicted to marijuana and his wife made him come in and um, I'm not sure he actually ever thought he was addicted to anything, um, but um, pot is not addicting. Um, do you form habits of things you like? We all do, some good, some bad. And can you form a habit smoking marijuana? Oh yeah, for sure you can. I've seen lots of people do it. But let's get back to alcohol and marijuana and the difference, okay? Okay, this is the comparison. The comparison between alcohol and marijuana is, marijuana is one of the healthiest things on the planet for you, and alcohol's one of the worst things on the planet for you. I'm not kidding. Um, in the rehab, the people when they would come into the rehab, of all the addicts that came in, heroin addicts, Oxycontin addicts, cocaine addicts, meth addicts, alcoholics, the people that looked the worst were the alcoholics. I mean, they look worse than heroin addicts, okay? And you probably wouldn't think that, but they do. Because after a month of being sober, they look like different people. Also, if you put all those addicts in a room together, the meth addict, the heroin addict, the alcoholic, everybody. At the end of the week, after a detox, if you don't check on them and go in on them, of course we never do that, the theoretically, the only person that would be dead when you open the door is the alcoholic. Alcohol kills you. If you detox from it incorrectly, it can kill you. It kills your liver. It kills your spirit. It, it kills your thought processes. So there is no comparison between marijuana and alcohol. Um, Nobody ends up sleeping with somebody they don't know because they smoked a joy. Oops! Oh my God, I got stoned. Who's this guy laying next to me? Doesn't happen. How many people, however, make these stupid choices on alcohol because they're not thinking, they're not in their body. Oh, I can't walk, but I'm gonna go drive. Yeah, great. That doesn't happen on marijuana. It will never happen on marijuana. Also, no violence. Marijuana lifts you out of any antagonistic or depressed moods and puts you in a good space. Unlike alcohol, that makes you angry, makes people that, you know, were normal beat people or hit their dog or go out and drive and kill people. Okay, are we starting to see some differences? 88,000 people a year die from alcohol or alcohol-related diseases or accidents. Not one person has ever died from marijuana. Enough said. The pot is because I've seen too many felonies. And I don't mean pot sales or growing pot like this guy up in Connecticut. I mean people on pot that shoot each other, the, that the, stab the, the each other, lives, the strangle each brains, other, drive families. under the influence, kill families, wipe out a whole family. The first time I ever came in the first case, it was a plea, and there was this gorgeous lady standing in the middle of the courtroom crying. And I didn't understand. I said, well, what is this case? Somebody else was taking a plea, and they said she's a stockbroker. She got addicted to pot. She ended up losing her job, uh, wrecked her car, couldn't make the house payments on her house. So she, her husband got custody of the children. So now she has no car, no house, no family, nothing. 88,000 people a year die from alcohol or alcohol-related diseases or accidents. Not one person has ever died from marijuana. Enough said.